is Janice Crowley with Wichita Collegiate School, and we're going to go over how to collect a gas by water displacement. This is the one in which we're going to be collecting oxygen. So I'm going to take the catalyst, I'm going to take potassium iodide, and we're going to open up the Erlenmeyer flask and coat the bottom of this with the Ki, potassium iodide. And you want to break it up. Try to get as much surface area as you can. So I'm going to put that in the bottom of the flask. So I'm going to empty that container into the flask. Looks like that. And then notice I'm going to put the thistle tube. This is the thistle tube. And it's going to be touching as close to the bottom as it can so that the gases won't be going back up here. We want to collect the gas, have it go out this tubing. And then if you'd notice, look at this pneumatic trough. See that there's this line? Can you see the line in it? If I tilt this, can you see that there's an open edge here that allows me to put the tubing in here? So what I'm going to do is I have filled up a glass bottle with water, and I'm going to invert it with a piece of glass into the pneumatic trough. And then sitting under the pneumatic trough is that pipette that's coming from this tubing. And now I'm going to add the, the hydrogen peroxide, which hydrogen peroxide breaks down to water and oxygen with blood, with uh, manganese dioxide, and also with Ki. So watch what happens. Just going to add a little bit of that. And do you notice that it's bubbling right now? into this flask. If it slows down, then I'm going to add some more hydrogen peroxide. But right now, it's going to pretty nice steady flow. And again, don't bother adding more hydrogen peroxide unless it stops bubbling. And it's bubbling just fine. So now I'm ready to take the bottle out. And I'm going to go ahead and put the glass plate under here, lift the bottle, and invert it. And let me just show you an example. Let me get a stick and show you that I have oxygen gas. I'm going to light. So watch, I'm going to blow it out. It's glowing. Watch what happens when I put it in there. See? That's the presence of oxygen. If it was CO2, it would have gone out. So that's how you collect oxygen gas by water displacement. Yeah.